packing up at our Airbnb. Getting all our bags together. Starting the Four Rivers Trail today. Marcus has decided to fly in and join us for the Four Rivers Trail. He was with us for the first 2200 miles of our trip when we rode around the Pacific Northwest. And uh, he rented a bike and is here in Korea with us. How's it going? I'm Marcus. Uh, it's just awesome to be here with my friends, riding around Korea, checking out new cultures and new food, and seeing areas that I haven't seen before. Yeah, awesome. I hope we're gonna have a great time. We've made it to the Four Rivers bike path. We are headed out of Seoul. We're gonna do about 340 miles on this one bike path over the next uh, nine or so days. It's a little bit chilly after being in Southeast Asia for five months. We're uh, still getting used to the colder weather, but it's nice to not be sweating all of the time. So far we've gone about 16 miles since uh, leaving our Airbnb. Uh, finally making out of making it out of the very dense uh, urban stuff and into some more mountainous terrain. The bike route so far has just been the best bike infrastructure we've really ever seen with the exception of maybe like the Netherlands. It's pretty much on par with that. Really well designed. The really good thing is that it, there's no breaks in the flow. I've been on other bike paths where You've got to go through bollards. Um, sometimes they're too narrow to fit our bikes through and we have to step off. But uh, so far, you can just cruise the entire time. It's amazing. yelled at for going more than 12 miles an hour which is kind of surprising I usually can't go much more than that yes we got rules here well an automated robot yelled at me I should specify <laughs> it wasn't an actual person this hotel was a lot more expensive than we anticipated but it all made sense when we walked in and there are two huge gaming PCs. <laughs> nice river view. <laughs> a little bit absurd. <laughs> and a huge hot tub that we probably won't use, but who knows. USA! Bye bye! Hello, I am Marcus Miller. Um, I've known Andrew and Jenny 
for a number of years and we've done adventures out in Utah, Colorado, and around the United States. Um, just a preface, that's where I live. I'm from Colorado in the United States. Um, they invited me on this trip, so here I am playing cameraman for them right now. Day two on the Four Rivers bike trail. Another fantastic day of riding. Getting hit with a ton of bugs though. Just certain areas along the river. Just so many bugs in the air, you can't help but kind of inhale them and get them all stuck in your beard and stuff. Not too, not too bad, they don't bite at least. can't beat this bike path for convenience. We've got a e-mart convenience store right on the bike path. You can get your snacks, have a nice river view. The cycle route has been an amazing change of pace after all the crazy traffic in Southeast Asia. There's just really great infrastructure along this bike path and we don't have to ride with cars, so it's been super nice. Day three on the Four Rivers Trail. We're leaving the Korean Beef Village. Uh, nice little spot to stay. We had some uh, food that I don't know the name of. Fermented soybean soup and some spicy pork last night. Uh, it's a little hot spring town. Did not take advantage of the hot springs, unfortunately. So far today we've seen a lot of really neat infrastructure, a couple of beautiful bridges, uh, a lot of people out fishing and camping. Uh, it's still a little bit early season, the trees aren't quite blooming yet, and uh, I'm kind of shocked at how many people are already out camping. It's getting down to about freezing every night, but the campgrounds are pretty packed. Finishing up the day today, headed into the little mountains, mountain hot spring town of Swanbow. Uh, we did about 35 miles today, taking it kind of easy. Uh, there would have been a big climb for us to go to the next town, so 
we decided we're gonna save it for tomorrow morning. We are headed out of Swanbow on day four. Starting the day out with a pretty big climb. I think we're gonna go up about 1,300 feet right off the bat. Gonna make it up to one of the higher points on the whole Four Rivers Trail. Nice day, a little bit hazy. Great weather though. We haven't had any rain yet and uh, hopefully it stays that way, but we'll see. As we've gotten further up into the mountains on the Four Rivers Trail, it's been less dedicated bike path and more uh, quiet farm roads. Still no traffic really, and uh, mostly in really good condition. And we get to see kind of the early season planting process starting. So it's uh, a little more interesting than sometimes being on a bike path where you don't get to see the communities as, uh, as much. We're approaching the high point of the Four Rivers Trail and it appears as if someone is singing and playing guitar up here on the summit. Interesting. Pretty fun downhill. Pretty sick. All that elevation. Made Lost like tears in rain. Lost like tears in the rain. Day five on the Four Rivers Trail. We are headed out of Meng Yang. We stayed in a love motel last night called Amor Motel. It's about 68 bucks and uh, had a nice double bed and a twin bed for Marcus. Big 4K TV, massive jacuzzi. It's a little bit weird. The proprietor was unsure about letting us stay in it as a group of three, uh, but we talked her into it. We said we were family and she didn't believe us. But then she relented and uh, let us get the one room, which is plenty big enough for three people. Uh, it's a very weird town, a lot of karaoke bars that uh, seem to be on the edge of being brothels. Just uh, kind of different vibes than a lot of the places we've been in Korea so far. You know, not, not dangerous feeling, just a little like seedy feeling. Some of these grades are pretty much unrideable. Actually, I'm gonna walk it. <laughs> this is too much for me. This next little section killed all, all confidence I had. Oh, well, we all just got shot down. My bike is sliding down the hill with a brake on. It's gotta be one of the steepest grades we've done. Oh. 
Well, we had our big climbing day yesterday, and today we're back to Pancake Flat, nice bike path right next to a river. A little bit less hazy today, and it's gonna be like 70 degrees, so it is some beautiful biking weather. Today we started getting our first little glimpses of uh, blooming sakuras. It's pretty uh, pretty exciting. Hopefully as we head further south there's going to be more and more. It's also been our most uh, rural day so far. Just endless uh, fields and farming communities. Some uh, amazing sections of bike path along the river. Lots of work being done to get ready for the uh, spring season. We will never know what is in that bag. The, the mysteries, the ancient mysteries of farming that us non-farmers will never know. There's some sort of military exercise going on. Day five, it's like 4.30 and we decided to shoot for another 25 miles. We've been doing mostly 30 to 40 miles a day, but uh, we're bumping it up today to have a day off in Daegu. Bike riding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Riding the last few miles into a town called Gumi, Gummy, something like that, and uh, we've found ourselves in some sort of industrial district. Big change from the bike path. 6:30. A lot of people still hard at work.
this morning and the uh, cherry trees are finally in full bloom really cool ride right along the river here it's kind of industrial stuff everywhere but then these cherry trees in a beautiful bike path it's a uh, it's a pretty interesting uh, combination we're headed into Daegu today it's gonna be about a 45 mile day and uh, I think we might take a day off and see Korea's fourth biggest city Blossoms have begun. They're so pretty. The route into Daegu today has had some of the most spectacular bike infrastructure I've ever seen. Uh, we just went along a cool boardwalk over the water and that bridge over there is uh, limited to just cyclists. It's amazing how much uh, work and money they put into building amazing cycling infrastructure. <laughs> This is the closest we've been to making a cat friend yet in Korea. The cats here are very shy. Oh. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> you got a video and it's like I'm... Just rolled off the cliff. We've left the Four Rivers bike trail and we're making our way into the center of Daegu to take a day off the bikes and, and check out the city. And uh, we spent most of our time in Korea on the bike path. So we don't really have much experience riding in Korean traffic. Um, we found it to be a little bit hectic. There's not a lot of great bike lanes and a lot of people seem to just ride the sidewalks, which we're definitely not used to. Uh, the sidewalks you have to worry about traffic turning into businesses and they're usually bumpy and just not a great place to be on a bike. Daegu. We got about nine miles to cross the city and uh, we're doing some sidewalk riding because the streets are a bit crazy. Only a mile and a half left to go till we reach the safety of the bike path. Crossing Daegu has been uh, the most exhilarating part of the ride across Korea so far. Too chaotic to even film.
Well, we made it the uh, 10 miles across Daegu and we're back on the Four Rivers bike route. Got about two and a half days left to hit Busan. Uh, Marcus had three spokes break, but luckily we were able to find a bike shop only about a mile and a half away. And uh, despite not speaking any English, the Korean bike mechanic whipped up a solution in no time. Uh, they are the exact spokes we needed, but he was able to <laughs> bend the J-hook and uh, create something that's gonna hopefully hold for the next 130 miles. We're getting a little bit of rain today, but the full bloom cherry blossoms have us in a good mood still. Well, today has turned into a bit of a suffer fest. Pretty chilly out, constant rain. We're getting in pretty late. Just had a really steep climb up to a very cool temple, but pushed the bike up the whole way pretty much on rideable grades. And uh, yeah, we're at about the 45 mile mark, something like that. So not a long day mileage wise, but between the broken spokes and the rain, it's been uh, just a very action packed day. We're staying at a very bike friendly hotel and they've got these cool lockers in the back. And just getting his bike ready here. So we got a padlock to one of these last night. Had a secure place to store our bikes and now we're getting ready to go. It's our second to last day on the Four Rivers Trail and we're doing a little section of 13% uh, grade. There's not a ton of climbing on this route, but when there is climbing, it is very steep. Made it to the top of the climb. You guys survive? Barely, it's very steep. That was a hill. Well, we definitely timed the cherry blossoms right. They're uh, really going off everywhere now. Pretty much our whole time in South Korea, we've seen a ton of people foraging for what looks like parsley in public parks and just kind of all over the place.
Got a short day to ride into Busan today. It's a gorgeous Sunday afternoon, so there's tons of people out enjoying the bike path, looking at the cherry blossoms and foraging spring greens. So, really good energy today, and we're enjoying our last day on the trail. Taking the Four Rivers route on a Sunday in full cherry bloom season, a little bit rough, but it's fun. It's nice seeing everybody out. Well, the official Four Rivers route was just too choked with people, so we have found our way onto a nice little gravel path through an ecological park. Not 100% sure bikes are allowed, but there's a couple other people out here on bikes. So if the locals are doing it, then we're gonna do it. It would have taken us hours to get to Busan on the main route. Just too many people on the bike path. Well, it's a combined bike and pedestrian path, and it's a Sunday and the cherries are blooming, so can't blame them. These vacuums have been at every single park that we've gone to for cleaning off your shoes. I'm just gonna demonstrate. It does nothing. It does nothing. We're riding our last three miles in South Korea, headed to the ferry terminal in Busan. Uh, we've had a great ride across the country. The bike path was absolutely phenomenal. The riding in the cities was uh, pretty chaotic, but we survived. Well, fingers crossed we got three more miles. But uh, we're looking forward to checking out Japan next. Made it to the terminal. Now we get to navigate customs and getting our bikes on the boat. We're walking down the ferry terminal, heading to our boat, the Queen Beetle. <laughs> 